Hello folks, this is Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing here in Dallas, Texas. I want to talk about a tool that I use to be able to clean some of the intricate areas on a dashboard. This can become overwhelming. Some people will just spray like a cleaner onto a microfiber towel, wrap it around their finger and try to clean around the buttons, try to clean the vents, all that stuff. That's cool if you want to do that. There's also people who will use a steamer. They use a steamer to clean the vents. You gotta be real careful with steam around the buttons, around the CD tray. You don't wanna, that just makes common sense, right? You don't want a lot of moisture getting into these areas. The other thing that people will use is like a makeup brush. If they're just removing light dust, this is highly effective. Sometimes you can spray a cleaner onto the makeup brush and kind of go over these buttons. If you've got light dust and dirt, that'll work. But the paint, the, the makeup brush, the woman's makeup brush, isn't a great absorber or a great way to be able to transfer dust and dirt that's on that has begun to bond onto the plastic and get it to transfer onto the brush. This is more like a little French maid, right? With the black dress, if you happen to be in that income bracket, you can have one of those hot women walking around the house dusting off things. That's cool, that's hot. Here's the other thing is guys will take Q-tips. This is just a household Q-tip. My industry also sells Q-tips. They call them detailing swabs. Uh, they're overpriced. Forget it, I don't want to talk about it, I think you guys get the point. But if you take a Q-tip like this, right, it's got the little cotton end on it, you can spray your cleaner on it, kind of clean each side of these louvers in the vents, that's cool, but eventually it gets all gunked up, you can't clean it off, you're going to throw it away. Not a big deal, they don't cost a lot of money, right? But they're, they're just too small, in my opinion, to be effective or efficient. Efficient's the better word. Also... I want to talk about, you know, you can use a steamer if you want. I think I talked about that. Got to be careful with a steamer. Makeup brush. Eh, it's great for light dust. The Q-tips and all these detailing swabs my industry has. Overpriced. Don't want to deal with it. I want to show you something. What I have in my hand, and I've been using these things for years. These are foam brushes. These are like, you dip like a... Um, you dip this into a stain and wipe it on wood if you're into carpentry or wood refinishing. What I'm going to do is take this foam brush. This one happens to be the 2-inch version. The other one is a 1-inch version. I'm going to take this 2-inch version and I'm going to clean the louvers of this vent very fast, highly effective. In fact, I'm going to be cleaning both sides of the louver at the same time. That's why they're so much more effective than a Q-tip, if you will. I'm going to use Griot's Interior Detailer. This stuff is really great because it doesn't leave any residual residue behind or streakiness or whatever. Just going to spray both sides of this foam block with the Griot's Interior Cleaner. Go in here and lightly go over these louvers inside and out. What's great about this, you can see it's kind of stuck in there, right? But it's cleaning both sides of the louver at the same time. Awesome. Go in there, clean that stuff. I can get around this little dial here. That's cool. If I want to clean the, the, these buttons here, this is where things get tricky. A lot of guys will use a, like an aggressive APC and put it on the microfiber and try to lightly go in here and clean these buttons off. But you can pull the lettering, the, the painted lettering off. So I like to use this foam block, go over it with the cleaner and lightly just agitate, pick up any dust and grime and dirt that might be on these components. I'm not going to scratch anything. At, and also, too, as I run this across the grease and grime, it's going to transfer onto the foam pad. Really cool. Now I've got the CD slit or track. Oh, I love that word, slit. But you've got this CD groove here, right? That can get a lot of dust and grime in it. This little foam applicator or foam brush has got a chamfered end. It's got a point on it. I can get in there and appropriately apply a cleaner without flooding the area, without using steam and getting all these sensitive areas too wet with moisture and go in there and just lightly work these buttons. This truck's not hammered, but I can do this pretty quickly, work around these areas, clean off around these buttons. The Griot's interior uh, cleaner isn't going to leave any residue behind. It doesn't get streaky. But once I'm done, I can just take a microfiber towel and just lightly dab and pick up any excess product and I'm ready to go. I haven't hurt anything, haven't harmed anything, didn't scratch anything. I'll clean off this area here where I clean the vents off. Now I want to talk about what if I wanted to dress these components. Maybe it was an older vehicle. The plastics have begun to fade from VOC gassing and venting or the louvers have just faded over the years. I'm going to take my one inch foam brush and I'm going to take something like Stoner Trim Shine. Yes, there's an aerosol version. A lot of guys will like to spray the vents, but you get a lot of overspray that 
aerosol is not water based. It's uh, it's got petroleum distillates in it. It'll get onto the nav screen, maybe on the dashboard or on the glass. Now you got to clean up after yourself. This is where I like Stoner Trim Shine in a you know a bottle here in a trigger sprayer because this one happens to be water based. I'm just going to spray both sides of this little foam block with that water based dressing, and I'm going to go in there and guess what? Clean or I should say dress both sides of these louvers at the same time. Much more effective than a Q-tip. Work these areas over. Go over these areas, over these buttons, right? This is water-based. This will not be slimy, sticky, greasy later. I'll just go ahead and apply this like I'm kind of like a child at school painting, right? This is really easy, highly effective. I'm not wiping petroleum distillates all over these knobs. It's not going to be greasy, slimy. It's going to be dry to the touch. Nice satin finish. But then I go, get in there and get all that area done. If I have any excess product, actually stone or trim shine, if you just left it, it would dry and evaporate on its own. But if you want to lightly dab to pick up some of that residual excess product from the stone or trim shine, that's fine. Go ahead and pick it up off the vent areas. Folks, these two little brushes right here, these foam brushes, brushes, one inch, two inch, three inch, you figure out what's best for you, are so highly effective to be able to get into these intricate areas without applying steam or spraying a fluid directly into these components. Very soft, very effective and efficient because it cleans both sides of the louver at the same time in the vent. These are also cleanable. You can't do those with Q-tips. You're going to throw them away. At the end of your detailing day or maybe after you're done cleaning your vehicle, you can spray some APC on these and run them under the kitchen sink under hot water, wring them out, and let them dry. Just kind of sling them out and let them dry dry you'll keep this thing far much longer great detailing brush great cleaning brush for these sensitive areas areas like the cd what are we going to call this guys is this the cd track the cd slit i love that word slit so we're going to keep that one there so you got your cd slit you've got these louvers guys these things can be bought at Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot. I've seen hardware stores give these things away when you walk out. They got like a grab basket on the way out. Highly effective tool. I highly recommend it for intricate areas on a dashboard to be able to get you effective cleaning. Really nice detailing job without, over, without being overly aggressive or scratching any components. I love you all. Talk to you soon.